In this video, we'll apply some of the available properties that Editor Config gives us to all of the files inside of the directory and subdirectories that we're working in, as we saw in the last part. We'll be looking at the most used and probably most useful properties, and obviously the full list can be found on the official website. Now, we've already seen the directory structure that I have. Let's go ahead and create a new file, and we'll save this with a .edit extension. And that's it, .editor config. Hit save, and there it is. Now, we want to define that this is the top most editor config file by setting root to true. For now, I want to target all files in this root directory and subdirectories, so I'm just going to apply the asterisk selector within square brackets, and we'll look at different selectors in the next part. Let's first of all set the character encoding, so we use char set, and I'm going to set this to UTF-8. We'll set our indent style as well, and I want this to be a space. We can also though choose tab. So now I want to set the indent size. Obviously this can be anything you want, but I'm going to choose two. So when I go down to a new line or anything like that, it will indent this by two spaces by default. And I want trailing white space to be trimmed as it's messy and it's going to lead to larger file sizes. So setting the trim trailing white space property to true will combat this. Now I also want to insert a final new line so I set this to true as well. So now that we've got the plugin for Sublime installed, we can now choose to maybe open global.css and test this out. So let's make sure that all of these properties that we've created um, are, have actually worked. So I'm going to define a class here. And when I create my curly brackets and hit enter, this should automatically indent by two. And you can see that if I go back, that's automatically indented by two. Now I've just saved my file and that's trimmed the trailing space here because this wasn't actually needed. So that we know that that property is working as well. And we also, you may not have noticed, see that we have a final line inserted or a final new line inserted. And that's it. We've applied a select set of properties to all files that sit within this and under the root directory. And as long as this editor config file stays in this project, anyone using a text editor with this plugin installed will have these rules automatically applied. It's important to note, however, that not all properties will work for every plugin, so make sure you check the support specifically beforehand.